Hello, Krix is here and in this week's video I'm gonna show sketchbooks from my time in Falmouth University. These are sketchbooks from 2018. Yes, from the autumn of 2018 and these are actually from my time that I spent in Falmouth University on my Erasmus trip. If you like watching sketchbook tours, this is your jam. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below if you haven't already. I upload every Saturday and we have fun here. Oh, also, if you want, you can comment as well. Okay, let's start with sketchbook number one. Um, I actually don't know the name of this module and it was year two. As you can see, I have like these marks. Like the whole semester was divided uh, into five different tasks and uh, I just divided them for easier access. So, for example, the first one was advertising and we uh, were working in groups and each group had uh, one thing given to them and they needed to think how can I, how can they advertise this thing but using illustration so for us we got the uh, gal cushions which are um how can i explain they're like triangle thing which you can put inside the shoes and it uh, it is easier to walk uh so like i don't know if you will see this is how the gal cushion looks and this is how it looks when you put it inside the sole. My idea here was um, to make a video <laughs> of YouTube. Um, so, and the main person there is uh, Cindy, which is short of Cinderella. And she's um, doing an unboxing video with these gal cushions and shares her secret. Uh, that actually why she's wearing glass shoes is because she has these gal cushions and it's more comfortable. I will show the close-up of this as well. Okay, so this is close-up to Cindy unboxing video. If you want, you can pause and read it a little bit, but this is how, this is how it looked and yeah, it's just really hard to see it from the distance. Okay, so next part was editorial and um, I don't know if it's easy to see because I use super thin mechanical pencil but uh, so we had I think five different texts to choose from. I chose the text about the body is not a machine and to be honest I I wasn't that great at English at that moment and I, when I was reading the text I I think I reread it, it like I don't know 20 times and yeah I actually don't know how I end up in the Falmouth University with my English at that time so in the beginning I just did like a mind map with, uh, with all the things that just popped into my mind about this and like the article was mainly about uh, that like you are what you eat and everything is connected and I did like small sketches here and there and I actually don't know why I just came to this conclusion that I will just draw gut and um, these were my sketches and I kind of started doing the artwork then I cut it in half because I realized I don't like it so we needed to make like one half page illustration and then some spot illustrations so I also um, checked spot illustrations then I did like color combinations for this one but I didn't like it at all and there was like this one I don't know if you can see yeah so I decided to to make different things and yeah so this was like my final illustration for this it is in shape of gut but it's like a maze and there's person up there and this is like a factory yeah so this was like my main idea 
and then I had uh, spot illustrations and this is how it looked. I realized in Latvia and in uh, UK we had so many differences regarding to education and one of the differences was like there weren't anything going at the same time like in Latvia we had like 15 subjects at the same time and it was so overwhelming and we had to run to different directions each week but in this I felt like I could concentrate on one subject more and also each time the uh, mini project was finished we did like we put everything out on the desks and then people just left post-it notes uh, so I kept it like a, in feedback box and this is actually the mini sketch of this one I scanned this and ma made it bigger and then I traced it so this is how the mini version would look like I actually like this, how it turned out. I'm so happy I didn't stick to this one because I don't like it. It's... It, I don't like it even now, so... Good that I decided to change <laughs> the different part. So, this was editorial. And then we had book cover. And again, we had to choose from different um, authors. And I chose Dark Tales by Shirley Jackson and uh, I actually haven't read this book so I didn't have like the main thing to look for but I had read like uh, mini descriptions, mini like idea what this book is all about and yeah I just started sketching and I thought the inspiration and I really wanted to make a book cover with limited color palettes so I I was looking for inspiration to Latvian artist Ilmars Bloomberg's then uh, Geoff Granfield um, I even looked up for David Bowie video clip so more inspirations I guess Mark Rotko as well, this is actually a Latvian artist but uh, he's well known worldwide and yeah I, I kind of slowly was going towards three colors which was black white and red so I thought this could be good composition because I divided the book format in half and then the text part is exactly where the windowsill part is so everything looked kind of well organized uh, but I did like a bunch of thumbnails before I came to this version and uh, yeah so this is how the book looked I think I would now change some things I think this is too dark in my opinion and these ones actually are scanned like how I made this cover was actually I took up pictures and used different layers um, so this is like transparent paper but there are inside crumbles from a razor <laughs> and so yeah I basically did like combined cover using the different transparent papers this is I don't know if you can see there are two layers inside so yeah this is how I did this book uh, did some versions here as well I feel like this one better because the window is out not but here it isn't there is more feedback up here and yeah I really like the feedback from course nights we were so many people up there, but it was just really lovely to see the feedback. Okay, so the next part was narrative. And uh, we needed to choose um, to illustrate one of the books. And I chose to illustrate The Dark by Lemony Snicket. I don't know if you know the story. It's really interesting. I really liked it. And I just went... <laughs> 360 degrees 
I just started sketching different poses, different noses, different eyes, different clothing. But what I realized, like even now looking at this, I, d I sketched the main character, Salt, and he's actually really young in the book. He looks like maybe 13 or something. And even here, like the proportions and everything. So, and then, like, because it's a story about girl and darkness, I decided to draw darkness as a character. And the darkness is actually shrinking and, like, becoming bigger when the guy is afraid. And I thought the main character could be, like, in a bird's form. So, yes. Another thing, I did a lot of research. Sorry, this page is coming out, but... Uh, so, I got the text and I actually divided it by each section and which uh, spread I would love to be, like which spread the text would be. Then I even made a graph. Climax, rising action, falling action, so everything like that. And I did like thumbnails with different options, how I can illustrate this book. Then I started sketching the spreads. I think it was... So, it was 12 uh, spreads. And I think we had two weeks time. So it was quite sh short time. And I think we need to have two final artworks or something like that. So, yeah. I, I did a lot of sketching. And... Yeah, as you can see. The boy is still big, but he isn't later on. So this is really <laughs> um, just sketchy. And I actually have this really mini cute book I made. And I will share it to you now. It's just how the book looks. So the title. Then it's from the distance, the house. Um, it's a dot text here, so I guess this was supposed to come out. Then it's this page. I actually made the finalist version of this spread of the small boy, which is like now you can see it's. I made him a little bit smaller and it makes better effect. Then it's like that. Uh, I also made this spread, so the boy is looking outside the window. But I made this spread a little bit differently. Then it's this one again. Yeah, this is really abstract, I guess. This is pulling the drawer, because the boy was afraid and he went downstairs to the basement. And when he opened the, the, the drawer, the fear just flew, flew away. At least that's how I imagine it could be. So yeah, this is... And I really like the cover, so in the front there's the boy and in the back there's like the... the fear. So this is how it looked. Okay... So, finally here... <laughs> I did the boy a little bit bigger. So you can see the poses up here. The fear with the boy. I really like this spread. Then more sketches from the thumbnails. Then I did also color inspiration because I need to work on my final illustrations. And I took some pictures I really like from Pinterest. I still actually, after two years, I really like these colors. Then uh, art is an inspiration. Yeah, I really like this cover. By Stephen King, Misery. I actually don't know who illustrated it. William Morris is still a big inspiration for me, so that was cool. I don't know the artist up here. Rebecca Green, of course. Yuli Sarda, I just love her. More sketches. More sketches. This was, yeah. Uh, 
and I don't know how to show this one, I guess like that because these are sketches and then when I open here are more so a lot of things going on in here I don't know why actually I decided to make this one as that but I guess it looks interesting, right? and then this is how the whole storyboard looked like and I did it like in black and white actually I think I attached this together I will try to find the final artworks because they're not included in this sketchbook I did them separately and they're quite big then yeah just color palette and I had also more feedback from course mates so I, I really like the feedback I saved each and every one and actually I'm still happy about how this turned out especially in two weeks it's crazy right okay moving on last project was the edge and um, I think we had two weeks and we needed to think of the thing to do ourselves so to came up with the project idea so this was like personal project which I really liked the idea of personal project in university so what I decided to do is uh, to make a zine I never done zine before this point and I rock climb in Pen Penryn University so I decided to do project about rock climbing and so yeah I did like ideas uh, I asked uh, my friends climbers about advice they could give and I, I did small sketches of the character and this was like the first mock-up of the zine so this is I thought to do like advice book for beginner climbers so this is how to climb and then pack your bag with all the things you need to have then before you start you need to stretch yourself um, this is this has changed but it was got climbing center meet friends and then it's the climbing process and just motivational speech so this is how I decided to do my book this spread made it to the end I really wanted to do it in blue and pink riso I will tell later which colors I chose yeah I just sketched a lot of uh, character I started checking my climbing journey all those things yeah just more sketching I guess and I decided at the end to do two layers so one layer could be like that another one like that and I never done Rhizo by myself before in Falmouth University you could access Rhizo print so this was my chance and yeah so this is one of the layers I think it was like that it's so eight pages in total this is only one color so I did two co colors in separately and this is how it looked at, at the end I actually still have some of these copies in my store Etsy shop Crixis for sale so if you like this book and you want to have it as well you can support me on Etsy and buy this from me so okay so this is how to climb just go for it and this is a uh, knot 8 which is important in rock climbing so first is pack your bag it's stretch yourself uh, how to tie figure 8 so it's just motivational and so on and then it's at the end of the day it's just a rock so this is my personal project in university and I really liked it at the end I came up with burgundy and I think it was just blue color so because uh, university ran out of the flu pink and actually it's good because I don't like flu pink right now so this is more pleasing to me okay so this was the first sketchbook I'm going up for second one and it's visual studies sketchbook I don't know how I will show it because it's like that I will try to show it so we need to come up with uh, 
out of six different directions we need to choose three so there were I actually didn't remember which were there but I chose motion color and composition and yeah so in the beginning I thought I will do something about Falmouth on or connected to Falmouth because I actually really loved Falmouth uh, like place so I came up with the idea that I could actually do flipbook which I never done in my life before and since then I never tried it again because it was a lot of work but I decided okay uh, in Falmouth they have a lot of uh, boats so I decided to focus on scenery, on Falmouth scenery, on colors I see in nature and I sketch some houses in Falmouth and then I thought I could do lino cut and like lino cut um, playbook which is more complicated but oh well I did uh, some embossing I think that's how you call it and my textures with pencil the sea story about boats who actually are fishes story about sea story about movement so this was like my statement and yeah I did a lot of lino printing and I used these ones just to cover up the mess in some parts so just testing and these are different frames so one I think it was 5 centimeters by 5 and so when you flip it's just a little bit different slide because I chose not only movement, motion which is good for flipbook but I chose composition I need to vary with composition and color I tried to experiment with color up here I think so color Kind of, but here are more color experiments and more. I tried to see how it would look in different colored paper. So, yeah, just an experiment. Like in the end, I came up with different, but this is like how. Each frame looked from now, it went like that. And so the city, the boats, the boats are turning into water, the water is turning into fish, and then fishes, fishes flew away. So I did a lot of colors in, digitally as well, just to try on inspirations. Sea salt Cornwall, really inspirational for me, I really like it. I am just deep blue colors. This was my illustration, the first picture book I actually did in 2017. So this was also like in the same color scheme. Some of sketches of mine <laughs> in different sketchbook. I just thought this could also be an inspiration. And next two pages are original prints, but I use less color on them. That's why they are so light. I cut 72 pieces, that's crazy, in 5x5 five five format. Made total of 216 prints, two flipbooks and next two pages. That take about a lot of time, about 6 hours. 6 hour printing, wow, that's crazy. So yeah, this is how it looked uh, up here. I will show you the flipbook as well. But yeah, I, I still like this. It's so interesting and so cool to see how it looks. So, yeah, this was my second sketchbook. This was my first sketchbook, and now it's time for flipbook. Clean hands only. I have clean hands. Yes, I think I will try to focus now. Okay, here we go. We'll try again. Yep, 
Yeah, so 72 pages just in 30 seconds basically. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, comment down below and if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I upload every sun Saturday. I upload every Saturday and we have fun here. Okay, see you next time. Have a good evening, morning, wherever you are and stay safe. Okay, bye.